Oh, well, certainly prayer is, is, is a very important part of, of the ministry. Uh, but that is, uh, I think, what makes the Salvation Army unique because in some ways we're a church, in some ways we're a social agency, uh, in other ways we're an NGO, we're in development work, we're in all sorts of things around the world. Uh, and we're in Europe, you'd be familiar with a lot of our social programs. In places like Africa and India, we have schools, we have medical hospitals. Uh, so there is an extremely wide range uh, of things uh, that are taking place. And, of course, that does require management. Mm -hmm. it, it is a huge enterprise and organization. Um, but at the same time, the, 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 the foundation is our spiritual motivation. And uh, so that is important. Um, and so, for example, at our international headquarters in some of the uh, main board meetings or meetings that we hold. I mean, prayer uh, is is a central part of that. In our own personal lives, that's important. Uh, my wife and I wake early in the morning, and the first thing is that we we spend some time reading the Bible and praying. Um, and and that really is important to maintain because if if we ever lost that, we'd no longer be the Salvation Army. Um, and you mentioned all the projects that you do overseas. How do you decide, make the decisions about you know which projects get which money and even which projects that you support? I mean, recently you had a big appeal, didn't you, for the the earthquake in Nepal? Yeah, uh, I mean that is always a challenge because e even though we're now in 126 countries. Uh, and and if you add it up, uh, I mean, the, the amount of money that goes through all of these different programs, it's it's phenomenal. It's a drop in the ocean. You know, there, there never is enough. And, and that is one of the dilemmas. Uh, I, I think N Nepal was an easy one to call when, when you realize the poverty in the country itself and just how devastating that earthquake, well, those two earthquakes uh, turned out to be. Um, you know, it's right that we that, that we get involved in, in those sort of things. But I, I, for all sorts of other projects, uh, there, there, are, there are things, certain governments uh, in countries that, that provide funds have specific focus. Perhaps it might be on literacy, it may be on advocacy, it may be on uh, provision of water. So usually... Uh, we work closely with external partners in, in deciding what kinds of projects we'll, we'll get involved in. But more and more crucially, talking with the people in the countries where, where uh, there is a need for these things, because it's not a question of us simply walking in and saying, hey, we got some money and we can do this. It's, it's, it is working with communities. I think that's one of our strengths, is that we are in every country right at the grassroots level. So it is working with people in communities and, and trying to help them to find solutions, not just providing solutions that are not always appropriate. Tune in to The Profile Interview in association with Christianity Magazine every Saturday at 4pm, only on Premier Christian Radio, where faith comes to life.